Hi everybody, welcome to September's course report. Um, it's the 6th of September and we've just finished our second maintenance week of the year, which was last week. Um, very successful, uh, obviously the greens aren't the best at the minute because they're still a bit bumpy and a little bit sandy, but as you all know, uh, it's compulsory we do it, so we get good greens for the majority of the year, uh, so a little bit of pain, short term pain for long term gain. But um, moving forward into September, uh, the green staff are now very, very busy. We've got a lot of projects coming up. Um, there'll be some sort of communication coming out to you all at, at some point in the very near future. Uh, obviously, I'll keep you updated on course sports as well, what's moving, what we're doing moving forward. Um, but we're trying to get as much done before the rain's really set in. Uh, we don't want to get caught out like we did last year. Uh, we had a really wet winter. So, a little recap on August. Rainfall 64 mil, still on the high side, uh, not too bad. Weather wise, I can't remember a summer with so much cloud cover as we've had this year. I mean, it's been quite painful at times. Um, not really a very good summer. Uh, although this week, uh, starting with the 6th of September, is meant to be rather warm. So, enjoy our summer while it lasts. It's, I think it's going to be very short lived this year. Um, we're all back in autumn already, but a little bit of heat now at the end of September. So weather's been a bit it miss, um, but we still managed to get you know, a reasonable amount done on the course. We're just about to kick off all the projects now um, after the maintenance is finished. So very, very busy, but all going in the right direction. I am currently standing on the fourth green. Um, and as you can see, maintenance has been completed. So to run you through what we've done for maintenance this year, much the same as all the other years really, but we holocored to a depth of around two inches with a three eighth of an inch tine. Uh, they was all then collected, scooped up and taken to the 13th to help with another project. We then double vertically cut the greens at a height of zero. So if you imagine we're cutting the greens at three and a half mil that's uh, vertically cutting three and a half mil below our normal height of cut. Uh, we then double cut normally and collectively on all our greens put 30 tonne of sand on. Lots of sand. Oh, and we, uh, we overseeded before the sand and then dragged in. So quite a large undertaking and it's Monday the 6th of September. This one was done Thursday the 2nd and I'm pretty pleased with them results yes they're a little bit long yes they're a little bit bumpy and yes they're very sandy but as we've said before a bit of short term pain for long term gain got to be done all helps drainage grass um, health uh, everything root development can't not do it really um, so August the greens were pretty good September they're going to start off a little bit ropey, a little bit below standard, but these will improve in the next couple of weeks and they'll be back to what they, they normally are. So that's the greens. So uh, tees and approaches are pretty good. Um, we did fertilise all of the tees recently, um, so they're looking reasonably healthy. Not too much going to go on with the tees now. Um, so cut them, cut times a week. As for the approaches, the green surround still being cut at 8mm. Um, they're all pretty good, really. Uh, fairways the same. Um, all the fairways are doing alright, apart from one, which I'll talk about in a minute, uh, that we've done a bit of work to. But uh, on the whole, tees approaches and fairways are good. As far as the rust concerned, um, obviously, we did cut down certain areas uh, around the course to make things easier, mainly on the carries shortened some carries uh, for the men we removed a lot of the carries for the women um, and the general rough itself you know I'm, I'm a fan of the rough some of you are some of you aren't but um, we can't cut any more down now until we get the machine in that actually cuts and collects the long grass itself the reason for this mainly is because when we cut these carries and that out we nearly burnt the matter out too long so we have to get the specialist kit in um, that's all booked and that is, you'll be pleased to know that will be coming in on the 15th of October, so about a 
about six weeks time we can't get it in early that because every golf course is in the same boat this year and they all want the same machine so unfortunately october the 15th for those of you that hate the rough is uh is when we start to cut and collect and to remove it all um obviously those of you who like the rough probably not really looking forward to that date so, but on the whole the golf course is it, it still looks good the rough is still it's still long it's still thick at the bottom in areas it is starting to thin out a little bit um, but I appreciate it's now September and we've had pretty much a whole summer of lush thick rough but that is purely down to the weather and nothing else so um, 15th of October is a date to all stick in your diaries so the fairway I want to talk to you about is 13 so this is looking back from the tee and they're the cores that we put there off the greens the other day and if we pan round you'll see that we've started to smash it up Big 13 ton digger, fairway and the semi, all the way to shy of the green. And the reason for this is the poor conditioned fairways we have at the golf club. Um, the potholes, the undulations, the unfair bounces, and sometimes fortunate bounces, but even more, even more so, the poor lies you can sometimes get. So we decided to start on this one, a little short one, uh, as a tester really, before we, you know, we tackle some of the bigger ones in a few years time. So the plan is, we will knock the worst of it off of the digger, mush it up as best we can. Then we've got uh, some help coming in from external sources uh, to smash it all up even more so, uh, turn all the big lumps into smaller manageable bits. We will then come back, try and level uh, best we can, fertilise seed and water. So the work should be completed, hopefully, by this coming weekend. Uh, so that will be the 11th, 12th of September. And then the growing, uh, hopefully not too long, a couple of months hopefully, uh, and then it will be good. Uh, so the hole is open. Uh, it's play as normal, which is your ball landing here, the entire area is marked up to you are uh, and it's got to the side, nearest point relief under normal rules and you carry on with the hole. So, yeah, big project this one, but hopefully one that's going to be very successful uh, and lead on to uh, all the fairways being done on the marsh really and you know, in a few years time, flat fairways that don't sit and affect water and give you crappy lights. Watch this space. Uh, very much a learning curve for all of us. So we're on the tenth hole. Uh, the reason we're here is uh, this ditch is going to form quite a large part of our winter works this year. Um, basically, the removal of this ditch and its trees, as it serves no purpose whatsoever. Never ever holds water. No, let allow water to flow through it. And is there on the 10th hole for no particular reason really um, so this ditch will be piped um, we always pipe the ditches when we fill them in this ditch will be piped the trees will be removed and there will be two bunkers placed on this ditch line so one down by the post in between the first two trees and one in the second two trees so it still gives you something to think about for tea um, so that's going to be for quite a big part of our works this year. Uh, also on the list will be 14th tea, men's tea. Um, you've probably all seen the millions of roots coming through that. So we're gonna rebuild the 14th tea, uh, remove some of the trees, stop all the roots coming through. Uh, the 10th teas, all of them, all, all genders, uh, all colors, uh, all mismatch 10th tea really. So we're just gonna make one long, one long tea. Um, new ladies tea on that and then there's other areas like uh, the metal tea on 18 uh, which will be um, scraped back re-leveled re-turfed same as ladies 11 and ladies 13 um, so quite a bit again along with the 13 fairway uh, plus other little bits and pieces here and there we've got a busy winter winter ahead but um, the big change on the golf course will be the removal of the 10th ditch and the introduction of two fairway bunkers so that brings the end to this month's course report. Uh, in summary, this summer has been 
strange, uh, not very sunny, um, not very warm, quite wet. Grass growth has been through the roof. We've saved money on water, but what we've saved on water we've replaced with fuel. Uh, I've never cut so much grass in a grand season in all my life, so it's been a bit of a mad year. But um, summer's come at the end. Uh, we've got a bit of a short spell of warm weather, so enjoy that while it lasts. Uh, hopefully winter's not going to be too horrific. Um, last year was, so hopefully we've had it for a while. But um, yeah, very busy moving forward. Um, lots of projects coming up, some coming to an end. The short game area will be very, very soon be open. Um, we mowed the green this morning at eight, uh, sorry, six mil. Um, so it's definitely, it's definitely getting down. It's in the, it's, it's three and a half out of course. So that's pretty much ready to be open soon. Uh, along with the grass tea, so that'd be good. Uh, and then we'll start the next lot. So very, very busy moving forward. Um, hope the weather plays ball. Um, as always, if you've got any questions, let me know. Uh, either in person when you see me out in the course or in the clubhouse or through the office or, or comment on any of our social media platforms. Alright then, see you soon.